Yo, what's up guys? It's Walsh Randy SG here. I'm going to say AK Yo Daniel, but that's my vlogging style. <laughs> um, one. Um, but in this particular episode, guys, of the Magic Mode Show, we have got Everton away, and also we have Fulham at home. Uh, both Premier League games, guys, so some crucial points on the case, so I'm going to have to try and at least get a win, or maybe a draw against Everton and win against Fulham. Uh, anyone will do. Um, but we do go 1 0 down against Everton, guys, so it's quite a disappointing start, even though it's 72 minutes in. Um, so yeah guys, what I want to talk about in this particular episode is the transfer system on FIFA 11. The reason I want to talk about it is because transfer is coming up, it is literally the next game. I'll, have, uh, uh, I'll upload one more episode and then I'll have transfers up. And you will end up being disappointed guys and I've got a reason behind it. Um, so what I decided to do uh, during my transfers, I sold a lot of players um, and also at one point it wouldn't let me sell any more players due to a financial thing which I was quite confused on so I don't understand why that's actually in here. I tried to sell another player to get so you get like seven million uh, seven million to spend but they said oh unfortunately you can't sell this player due to financial terms or something and so then I could sell him like a week later to another team weirdly it was quite strange so I don't know why that's in there um, also what I want to talk about obviously this is in FIFA 12 or I'm going to be mentioning now it, and I'm so glad it's actually in there um, so what's actually in it uh, is um, come here what it is now. Oh yeah, do it is hour by hour on each day of the transfer. So you could like in, like instant talking basically between the agent and yourself to try and buy players. Because what is doing this January transfer is that when I try to buy players, um, I kept running out of time. Well, that's what happened during the end. I ran out of time basically. I put these bids on. I offered them wages. I could have bought. I was going to bring in four players, guys. And I put all their wages on, I was like, beast, this team could be absolutely awesome. And uh, what happened was, it went past the last day. I even stopped it on the last day to see if I got a message or anything. And I stopped it, nothing came through, and they didn't get the, they didn't get the um, what do you call it, I didn't get a message back in time. So I was really disappointed with that. And hopefully, it, they say it's in there, but hopefully it is definitely in there. Because I really need that, especially for transfers and that, etc. Because I was really disappointed, I had uh, some really good players in there coming through. I think it was a new goalkeeper, the midfield, uh, midfielder, defender, and also striker. So I even got my money out, and I took the gamble as well, guys, of selling players. So I sold about four or five players, got myself about uh, nine million, ten million. So this is where I was getting the money from to buy these players. I was like, bargain, here we go. Let's go get some players now. And then obviously, due to that system on FIFA 11 at the moment with the transfers, I couldn't actually uh, buy these new players. Well, I could buy them, I often wages, but I couldn't end up finishing it. But uh, in the transfer episode, guys, I will bring a video out uh, to see what players I bought and etc. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't as many as I wanted. So, yeah, guys, uh, hopefully, well, actually, before I go on there, something else, uh, what's your opinion on like the transfer system on manager mode, guys? Because like, it's, it ain't too bad, it's not too bad, but usually to actually get a player, it takes like a week instead of like maybe a day or two, I'm really annoyed, and uh, for example, like the board of directors on there, I think it's called the board of directors, something like that, it's really irritating, especially when uh, they go, oh actually you can't sell this player due to financial issues, I'm like, what's a financial issue, you're gaining money, and you're gaining wages and etc, so I can't see why I'm not allowed to actually sell them. And also uh, the budget accumulator which they got on there, I wish they'd take off the free times thing because I think it was last season, it, I have only changed it once, this, no, I changed it last season because I made it perfect, just right for enough wage and enough uh, uh, price. Uh, what I noticed is that if you change it more than three times within one season, you can't change it again. For example, if you like, right, I need a lot of money but he only needs limited wages, so if you like per 20 million, you only wanted like 5k wages, which is very unlikely guys, I'm just making a scenario up. Um, if I was the case and you change that and that was the last goal, you won't be able to change it again, which is really irritating. So some features are like keep in there but give me unlimited things. So guys, that's my transfer opinions on the system. Uh, what do you guys think of it? Do you think they should uh, bring this hourly uh, hour thing in? Also, they are bringing it in, they did mention, but do you think you benefit? Do you think, oh, it's just a waste of time? Uh, or do you like the current system at the moment? And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. This is Walsh Ryan DSG. We currently drawn 1 0, and unfortunately, you can see that last minute goal, and we couldn't get We got a shot away, but not a very good shot at uh, Sportscher. I think it's what Scopus was, I'm not 100%. 
Uh, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching Welsh Dragon ESG, and thanks for helping me get into this YouTube partnership as well, guys. I got, and I'm chuffed the bits that I like. I've come this far within YouTube, and yeah, and as well, there's a lot of people that deserve stuff out there, but. It, and I'm just chuffed that I'm one of them. I'm like, God, I've completed like something which is awesome. So, fans watching, guys, we're currently fifth in the table, and I will catch you tomorrow, maybe, or in my next episode. Bye, guys.